good morning student in protection and maintenance of structure today we are going to study building defects so first of all we will see defects in the building usually there are five types of building you will observe among them first is defect in plastering second is dampness in the building third one is termite attack fourth one is leakage through roof and fifth one is settlement of tile floor tiles in the floor now plastering the plastering part is removed that is defect in plastering second dampness due to water absorption in the building you will found dampness in the building third the weeds the insects the insects enter into your building and attack your structure fourth leakage through roof the rain water leak through the roof that is leakage through roof and fifth the settlements in the floor tiles clear now each and every defect we will study in detail so first of all first defect that is defect in plastering so there are four types of defect in plastering among them first is blistering what is blistering blistering is the formation of small patches you will find small small dot of the plaster has been removed from the surface that is known as blistering small small patches it is the formation of small patches of the plaster swelling over finished plaster surface second type is crazing crazing means you will find small hairs series of the hair crack on the plaster surface you will find the formation of the series of the hair crack on the plaster surface so crack will be found on the surface and size of the crack will be like our hair so if you find the series of the hair crack that means it is a crazing okay third one is flaking flaking means is a formation of loose mass of the plaster surface means when there is un when there is poor bonding between two successive coat then above coat will be removed out in of very loose mass that type of defect is known as flaking and last one is known as popping popping is a formation of conical holes when you do plastering some material insert in your plaster plastering material that will expand when the plastering set and it will come out of the surface there will be formation of the conical hole that type of defect is known as popping it is a formation of conical hole in the plaster surface due to presence of some particle which expands on setting clear so there are four types of defect in plastering blistering crazing flaking and popping now to avoid this there are some remedial me remedial measure which can be done to avoid this type of defect among them first measure is to maintain the, to maintain the quality of the work because the last one we have seen popping that material that will expand on the setting so if your material is good this type of defect can be uh, removed so to maintain the quality of the work second to use the quality of the brick you should use the brick of good quality that will create a good cement or a masonry wall third to use water free from the salt the water you are using should be free from the salt and fourth the brick you are using should be soaked in the water the soaking brick in the water before using the masonry clear so four measure will avoid the defect in the plastering now second type of defect is dampness in the building okay now dampness why it will cause or causes in the dampness so first cause it is the rising moisture from the ground the moisture from the ground will rise and enter into your building that will the first cause second rain penetrated from the roof the rain water will penetrate into the roof this will be the second cause third rain penetrated from the top of the wall and fourth moisture penetrated from the exposed wall the wall which are exposed from there also moisture will penetrate into your building now remedial measure for it you can light dpc damp proof layer of 1 is to 2 is to 4 ratio at plinth level this will avoid your dampness in the building from the bottom portion another measure laying mastic asphalt or bitumen layer on wall at the plinth level bitumen is impervious so it will stop entering the rain water into your building third one is cavity wall construction the defect that expose wall moisture penetrated from the exposed wall will be avoided by construction of cavity wall construction and third type of defect is 
termite attack clear the termite the insect which enter into your construction work and it will damage your work that, that is known as termite attack this can be this can be treated in two parts first pre consolidation pre construction treatment and second post construction treatment okay in that first pre construction you can give a soil treatment in soil you can add a solution which can which can avoid the growth of the weeds okay so soil treatment what is soil treatment chemical treatment to the soil at the time of construction is the best method and chemicals like aldrin heptachlor chlorodyne are to be added and this to be added in the water and this water will add to the soil while in the while during compaction so it will avoid the weed growths and termite attack will be stopped for this leakage from roof okay so it can be avoided by cleaning the drain pipes that are provided in the terrace that will drain your water from the terrace so cleaning the drain pipes second level the terrace and provide proper slope so terrace should be level that the water falling water will fall directly on the terrace so that water should have a proper slope so that it can be drained easily third to carry out waterproofing treatment the so waterproofing treatment will avoid the rain water penetrate into the slab plus so third one is to carry out waterproofing and another defect is last defect that is settlement of tiles in the floor that can be cured or that can be done by removing the damaged tiles from the floor okay first of all you have to remove that tiles now you have to compact the soil by rammer now you have to compact the soil and then you have to done then you have to do pcc plain concrete plain cement concrete layer and after that you have to place the new tiles or old tiles and pcc over that pcc bedding so this will solve your settlements of tile floor okay thank you